bench first time probably in his career he got benched and obviously it was a big deal because he's playing for the lakers but then he was able to bounce back in his next game played really well didn't turn over and he got back to being who he needs to be which is a guy that lives with two feet in the paint i, I thought he did a really good job in the last game out and that could be the start of him getting on track because he's had struggles like this in the past on going to a new team but this season it's been a little more prolonged than in seasons past so let, let's see if that is going to be what starts his fire and gets him on the right track they've been hovering around 500 and lebron year 19 unprecedented 16 straight games of 25 or more no other player in nba history has done that channing you, you, we hear it all the time, putting the team on his back. That's exactly what's happening with LeBron. I think when you deal with somebody that has as many skills and it is a elite player like LeBron, he can assess the situation. I think uh, bringing in Russell Westbrook like we talked, you would expect Russell to have a, t a period of time where he's not going to, he's going to try to figure it out. Bron said, you know what, I can carry this team for X amount of games, right, because I've done this before. Whether that's your 19 or whether it's your 9 or the first week that he ever came in the league, I'm LeBron has been able to do this. Now, what you want is, you don't want Bron to do this all season. Thanks for having you me here say, today. Hey, I'm happy to be calling you from the two hype house, so let's get it. Of we are in the presence of greatness. Is the game is has begun. Overshadowing whatever's happening right now. Because we all know that in the, in the playoffs, to have somebody that can create, to have Lanier. somebody that's going to be as aggressive as Russell, that's been to those situations, is immeasurable, especially in the Western Conference. With the Phoenix Suns, if you have a big guy like Russell, who can post up the sun, who can post up the first call, and who can make plays, that's going to help the Lakers have a chance to win. But Russ and LeBron need to figure it out, right? Maybe LeBron needs to do that. Maybe Russ needs to do more. But this is just what's going to happen. They're going to have to take their lunch during this year. And GA, a name that Shannon didn't mention, and he needs to do it. Being back on this team, how critical is that for the Mavericks? Here, Shannon talked about the load that LeBron is carrying. The struggles that Russ is going to be in this court. You know, let's not discount the fact that the overall roster construct isn't the great. And so you can't put it all just on Russ for not having a team. But having said that, there are things that are starting to go. They're trending in the right direction. Russ's turnovers have come way down the last several games. Taylor Horton Tucker, he seems to have figured out. He's starting to play at a higher level. That's important. Malik Monk is starting to play better for him. So a lot of positives are happening, even though they haven't been able to come together win. But this upcoming road trip, even though on paper it looks like it's going to be a real challenge, when you look at the makeup of the roster and what all these teams are doing, it's a great opportunity for the Lakers to get some confidence as a team and string together some more. But to me, the Lakers aren't losing because of Russell Westbrook. He doesn't help at times. They're not good defensively. They are very slow. They're an older team. When you get Anthony Davis back, he solves a lot of problems for them. Blocking shots. The one for me, in the his game, health man, is 100%. That's an epic if he fail. walked in and played, He's not having a bad year. We just talked about him. He's a very solid year. He's just in and out with his team. So, if they can get better defensively, just turn it up a little bit more with the energy. They can get themselves in the game. The offense decides to take care of themselves. It's because defense is like it can't get stopped. And then they got to play slow. And they don't get to. And the best thing about this week, the Lakers are on our Shot family. Shot clock, man, damn. It's the rematch of the bubble finals between well, the Lakers and the Eagles. It's Steph Curry taking on the Utah Jazz. And look at it. Keep the Lakers at it again. Score! TNT King James facing Lanier. No Kyrie because that game's a book. Of course, Kevin Durant is out. Mavericks and Warriors. Number seven. Number one. Get on that one at 12. Golden State is Golden State. Really? Great thing up there. Game's on. And the point guard, CP3. Dish now down. That's coming up next on game. Five. Aggressive rebound. Young point guard, Derek Garland. Getting all Street. the way to the bucket. Curry. Curry putting the moves on the defender. Just shaking him. We need to see a comeback because this game is getting out of hand. For the kid, I wanted to be a point guard as I got older. Handles. Oh, man. Steve Nash is the jet. We're going to need to switch because no one can guard Stephen Curry's 
to reveal the story of this match. A major mismatch. He has handles. He eats the glass. Look at the demand of the board. That's how you create games. Janine. Super speed lottery pick. The defense is slowing down his drive. Jason Kidd. He got a big try. Straight. Ooh, with that gap widening, it's beginning to look like a blowout. Things without the right big truck tires. I saw two of them on the new road venture. The defense is all over them. Incredibly durable. With all weather, Look at that great right to shatter the fastball. Oh, you can only last about getting there. Hear more about what good trick we are going to do next. Bang, bang! The defense is on him like glue. Look at the ball man. The dudes! They get confident they didn't battle. He throttled him. Defense is running down that shot clock. We need large numbers of people with the same types of symptoms that we have the hundreds of... Was that a shot or a pass? Lanier. Put that in the bar. Bring out the bowl. Nash. Defense is like a wall holding back that drive. Straight. Try something else. My favorite part of the game, the last minute. This decides everything. Stephen Curry with his signature shot. Yo, Steve Nash is a bad man. That jump shot? Hitting out of Patriots, Phoenix Suns. That's the press eight, wasn't it? The press eight. Well, he's sick as well. Cross the line. All the way in, GA. Then CP3. That boy difference isn't out of control yet, but you don't want him trying to catch up like that. This one, that's a difficult crowd to add. A cold shooting night, just 5 for 23 from the field. I mean, that's impressive to have that off a night in the Straight! With the gap widening, we're starting to see well, an obvious difference in skill here. Getting rewarded. Here's the ball. Here's the ball. Down, down. Oh, he got it. Uh, big thing for me. Now, look at this. Jay Crowder goes down. Holding his hand did not come back in the game as Chris Paul. His reaction on the screen says it all. They know how critical he is to what they're trying to accomplish. His aim was hard. Oh, no, he's going to shoot. The rookie, the rookie. Oh. 17 points. Low and steady speed. It doesn't matter how much you're by. The point is, you're one, and you're getting close to the next level. But here's the deal. 